Hey, geek, geekers and geekettes, how up? are y'all? What's up, Geek Gang? How are you doing? You already know. All right. Well, we're going to talk already about know. today. No, 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 no. Change of Things is... Um, it's out, mm-hmm. and uh, there's just so much things to talk about with Stranger so, Things. Let's get into it. Of course, this is Revaluate. Yes. You already know the drill. We know we look back at movies or TV shows from now or in the past. Maybe what, one of these days in the future. You mm-hmm. know, you can never tell. But you know, we tell you what we guys, you know, what we think about it. And, uh, and like I said, like we said, we are going to carry Stranger Things on for today, Volume One of Season Four, because yeah. Volume Two is coming out, I believe, January first. I mean, January, July, 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 first. July first. Yeah. So we're mm-hmm. getting ready for that. Yes, ma'am. So let's get into it. Let's go. Let's get into it. We're here. Mm-hmm. So what do you have to say about uh, Stranger Things? I mean. Since gonna... it came out, it's it's been on everybody's mouth. Yes, you know, you know everybody's been talking about it. It's so. been trending on Twitter. Yeah, yeah for like the last crazy week. yo, like it's crazy, and we seen it like last week. Um, we finished watching it last week. Mm-hmm. We actually started watching the boys last yesterday, night, last night. So um, you know, comment below on that be... first minute of the first episode. <laughs> this is what we're gonna be saying about it. But mm-hmm. you go first. I, 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 you a few small things to say about it. I eat. I well, I have a lot to say, but it's like small things. So I hope mm-hmm. to make it really quick. So I really liked season four. I think that it is getting better with time and better mm-hmm. with age and better with everything. Like I thought, like coming into it, I'm like they can't outdo the third season because mm-hmm. to me the third season was the best out of the bunch mm-hmm. um but i think they might have and mm-hmm. i can't really say for sure until we see volume two of season four so yeah, with that being said mm-hmm. there's a lot to like about season four. First off i actually am a very big fan of the length of the episodes like i know i couldn't be able to binge watch it because of our time constraints i know i couldn't be able to binge watch it like for a day i really like the length of the episodes, I think that Game of Thrones should have done that season eight. Mm. That's just me. Henry Krill stole the show. Yeah, okay. Number one, like he stole the show for me. That's mm. so interesting because in, like it, it kind of parallels to another Netflix number one of Squid Games, yeah, yeah. who also mm-hmm. stole the show, but he mm-hmm. stole the show for me. I want to see his backstory fleshed out. Just mm. give me one season of him and his backstory. It does not have to be an alternate show. I just want like a six season, I mean, a six episode thing. I'll be good with it. I love that it was even a darker tone. Mm-hmm. I don't think that it could have got any darker than season three, but it did. Mm-hmm. And what? With Vecna? The way he killed? I was like, yes, yes, let's let's get more of this. I would have liked even more variety in the kills, but to the kills that he did no matter what. Mm-hmm. Chef's kiss. R.I.P. to um, Call of Duty guy. I'm just gonna call him Call of Duty guy. Oh, okay, he was yeah. he was the FBI agent that like yeah, yeah, murked in everybody in that house and then got you know shot finally or whatever. R.I.P. to that dude because when I say he was taking cats he was out, taking, he was taking he was, cats he was out. It was it down, so it was, was so it dope. Yeah. And I think the final thing that I liked about it was the development of the upside down world. Yeah, we heard so much and saw so little of it within the first three seasons. Mm-hmm. So to actually see like half of episodes being like in there Mm -hmm. I like that okay I like that I I wish it wasn't such a carbon copy Mm -hmm. of Hawkins but no matter what I still like the fact that we got to be in it for more than just a second I thought that Mm -hmm. was dope it remind me a lot of like Silent Hill when Silent Hill gets all winky. Yeah, it, it does have that essence. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you know, there's a lot to talk about, but not really a lot for me. And it. it's, it's just in small parts. But overall, um, the most exciting part for me was basically the t- the character development of each character is within the story. How you actually embrace them, you know, you you get attached to them from ever since they're like kids going up to teens you know what i mean so yeah i i definitely love the fact that i'm seeing like um all of it from lucas erica and all the rest of characters in within the 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 series that you can act you actually saw them in a younger stage Mm -hmm. and you actually saw their development growing up yeah you know what i mean i i i I was definitely 
enjoy about that. Mm -hmm. it, it was it was wonderful. I can also um, appreciate the, the the characters. Um, connection with with each other mm -hmm. within the st within the story, like like Dustin and Steve, Lucas and Max, mm -hmm. Eleven. You know, you know, even though Eleven and Mike was like boyfriend girlfriend, yeah. but you still see their attachment to each other, and that was good. You know, just to see that the fact that these people were literally friends and how everything started from when they developed being a friend mm -hmm. until now that they're fully, you know, like, you can't see them without each other, basically. Mm -hmm. Also, the rescue team of Joyce and Murray, oh my God, the thing about I love with both of them is that they weren't like, 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 like kick-ass type of people, you know? They Murray like, was me, but... They were like <laughs> simple people who were just hell-bound and trying to get uh, Hopper, uh, Hopper mm -hmm. out of prison, and, and it just felt really. It just felt real to me because you can see the understanding of Joyce being so much in love with with Hopper, and with Murray with this big interest in what's going on in the background. Mm -hmm. So you know, just to see all of that, I loved it. I, I think that was awesome. The rescue, the rescue mission that they had was great. But I truly loved the 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 season because it was dark terrifying mm -hmm. and you know it makes you question every season or every section of the movie that our series that you know who's gonna die this is this this section who's gonna who what is gonna happen to this person yeah. who, you know everything the visual effects for the season was awesome you can tell yep. that they amped up the money for the yeah. visual effects as well because everything was done perfect the monsters were designed and executed properly that um, was really scary, actually. Yeah, 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 definitely, that definitely, was very scary. Definitely, definitely, definitely. As well as the the, the look of the upside down in Hawkins, you know, you, that did you didn't see much of the upside down world um, back in the other seasons that much. But with this one, you actually get to yeah. see and um, get to be involved in. It. So the, the the next thing that I like is the story behind um, Henry Creel. Uh, was insane mm -hmm. how he actually developed his powers, killed his family, and became the monster from the upside down. You know, that was wonderful, well written. Definitely have to give that applaud to the Duffer brothers. They know what they're doing. It was just a, a, a good joy being with this um, this series from ever since it started until now. And you see how it developed from just a normal TV show to mm -hmm. know like a, like a cult following. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and just, just to thank the, the, the Duffer brothers in how they executed this. The only thing that I probably didn't and well, not really, it was it was petty. Uh, it's a petty thing. Sure, um, it's just petty the be petty. It's just the fact that, you know, being that Will was a part, he was a victim of the Upside Down um, uh, from season one. It's like they brushed him off. He was in it he was in um, the upside down world, but mm. now he's not there. So let's brush him off and let's start with some some new faces. You know, it, it just didn't connect with me because, I, you know, being that he was the first victim of the upside down world and end up to survive, mm -hmm. basically, he should have been a part of something that kind of helped with this story. Like, but it seemed like it's kind of pushing him away and putting more of Eleven max and um the rest of the the, the, the guys involved in it I, so that's probably the, the only thing the only thing i i, I not really didn't like mm -hmm. but I, I wish they put i'd put will in in the forefront of this okay world. you know what I mean? that i mean that makes sense but you have to always remember this is 11 story so that it should maybe be 11 and will struggle mm. that makes a lot more sense yeah, yeah it's yeah, always been 11 basically. story yeah it should have been it should have been um, Will Will should have been a part of it okay. since he was a victim that was a part of it and happened to escape it. You know what I mean? So that's just the only thing I, I, I was. So you want to see more off. Will Byers? Yeah, man. Okay, just I for kind of pushed him off a bit. So, yeah. I still think that this is a great season so mm, far, mm. but one thing I'm definitely gonna have to disagree with you is Joyce and Hopper. Mm. First of all, I thought they I, I know I can get fucked for this. I'm okay with it. I thought they should have killed Hopper, Hopper in season three. His sacrifice to me was the end of his arc. 
I really got frustrated to see that they were bringing him back. So obviously, mm. like we all knew that he was not, you know, dead or whatever. And then it seemed like for me, since season definitely three, I would even push to say two. Joyce to me was not a waste of a character, but it just redundant. Like what she was doing in season one, she was doing in season two, right? Mm -hmm. So then in season three, you had to make her do something. Mm -hmm. So now she's talking about, oh, the refrigerated lights and da da da. So this season now it's about, oh my God, Hopper's alive. Now we have to go get Hopper. Mm -hmm. I feel like every time that Joyce and Hopper was on or that story or that part of the story, which felt very disjointed to everything else that was going on, mm -hmm. by the way, because mm -hmm. they didn't bring in the relevance of the Russian lab too. Mm -hmm. That to me would have connected it mm -hmm. because they didn't. They was like, oh, I'm going to throw Demogorgon in there and we're going to call it connected. Mm -hmm. So me, to, I, I don't know, but I, I don't. I don't think that's that's great for me because I believe that they should. They actually develop a little love story within the whole chaos of everything, and that what in season and, four. No, entire the entire Just, okay. Stranger okay. Things. Okay. Um, Hopper, what I, I I don't I don't I don't agree with you with um, Hopper being off off. Um, why is because with him the connection that he has with Eleven. It felt true. It felt like, and I then, agree with that. then you then I you agree hear the story of him losing his daughter. I agree with that and too. And you get to connect them together as being the fact that you know Hopper was very protective of Eleven, and it, it, you can literally embrace the idea of him being protective of Eleven, hence of him losing his daughter. I understand what you're saying. But I understand what you're saying. I do. Mm. I'm just going to say that I felt that they should have killed Hopper. Like, it felt, first of all, mm. that it didn't feel that they were going to even have a season four. Mm. So by the end of season three, you felt the, you felt that it was done. It was, mm. it was a done story. Mm. If you didn't have season four or season five, yes, there are always going to be questions that need to be answered, but I feel like the overall, the overarching arc of mm. what was going on was done. Mm -hmm. And therefore, to me, they should have killed Hopper then. So it feels like now you only have Hopper to justify what Joyce needs to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you had nothing but seven episodes of him hanging out in the in, in Russia and then Joyce trying to get there. Now, don't get me wrong. I loved Murray. And I actually liked mm -hmm. Enzo. And for a long time, I could not figure out who the fuck Enzo was. And so it was just telling me, oh, that's the dude with many faces from Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. But like, seriously, I... I personally, I, I just, I hope he's gonna be one of the people that die. Yeah, I, overall, still, I, I don't think Hopper should die. I think he should have some other. I think he should go back to um, eleven and in a in a situation where, you know, when all things have gone down, eleven, both of them connected, both of them get reunited, mm -hmm. and then you know. Just turn off really nice because this is a really good season. I hope Duffer Brothers come up with something again that is really good. I do agree with that last part, but again, I mm. am personally definitely gonna have to disagree with you on this one. I do hope mm. Hopper does. If he does not, at least Joyce, and if she does not, somebody from the main cast, not the B cast, mm. somebody from the main cast, it you cannot go four seasons mm. with a with a force like the Mind Player, the Demogorgons, the and Vecna and not have an A caster die and stay dead. So that that is just me. And I think the other thing that I, I was like, it kind of put me off, um, was there, as much as I love the ruthlessness, the ruthlessness of Vecna, okay, um, I think that there was some ruthlessness that didn't need to happen, okay? There was some ruthlessness that didn't need to happen. It was cool, but I was like, uh. Like for instance, I hate it. Mm -hmm. I hated Angela. I hated Angela, mm. but I almost felt almost a little tiny bit sorry when she got that skate right fucked up in her. I was like, shit, that was, that was, whoa. Yeah, she deserved that. I don't care. She, yeah. no, she definitely deserved, she deserved it, that. but there was a part of me that even felt like, damn, mm. I, I feel like I'm supposed to feel bad. Nah, I didn't feel bad. For like I, a I, little I second. Like even she was the getting annoying. No, she definitely was. And even the FBI guy, like, they fucked him up and then they almost damn near fried him. Mm. I'm like, D did we really need to do all that? Yeah, well, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They was well, kicking Hopper's ass oh because... Oh, my God. I can't <laughs> wait for uh, Volume 2 to, to drop. Mm-hmm. 
but it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy okay guys as usual if you like what you hear and you have anything you want to say to us mm -hmm. please discuss it in our comment section or check us out on instagram geek by heart twitter right? geek by heart yep as usual guys thank you for being here on reevaluate i'm jay i'm laney peace out. peace like share spark